Hey guys, um, I got some exercises that I work with, uh, not only myself, but with clients. Um, this is for your hand grip, as well as your barefoot training, and your toe grip. And the reason for that um, is you want to increase the proprioception, um, which is your sensory response with your brain to what you're touching. And check out these exercises real quick. Okay, so Milo the mascot is... Um, Definitely help me out here. He's always barefoot training. Uh, what you want to do is find somewhere to sit. Uh, use tile if you can, so the uh, towel is going to slide. But just lay out a towel, put your foot on top of it, and try and rake the towel toward you. And uh, this is going to get your toes involved. And all you're trying to do is curl it in. Um, I do 10 to 20 reps, depending on the volume meaning sets that I'm trying to go with. Um, and then the next one you're going to do is try and pick up the towel. So there's the encouragement from your uh, mascot. But what you want to do is use all five toes, try and pick up the towel off the ground, and then drop the towel. Over time you'll be able to do this a lot more easily. Um, you're, you're pretty much setting yourself up from the ground up for things like deadlifts, agility, quickness, balance. That's the biggest thing is to increase your balance. So for the everyday guy, here I am in uh, 2005 training. You can see how my toes are the last thing touching the ground. So that's why you want to do the towel grab. The next exercise I did were push-ups. You can see the uh, contact with the ground with my toes. So you have to have uh, strength as well as the agility and balance and finally here we're doing some jumps uh, I don't recommend this for barefoot training for beginners at all because um, your feet are going to be pretty sore from all the jumping around but this is a little bit better for a beginner in the sense that it's a softer surface as opposed to asphalt or concrete um, it is a little more difficult though because your balance is off due to the instability I'm working with a client here. This is his first day, and uh, he is an 85-year-old man. And what our goal is with him is to help him get up and down from his chair um, when he's at home. So this includes the shower, getting out of the bed, getting into the uh, wheelchair. So we're starting from the ground up to help his balance. Here's the exercise where we're trying to rake in the uh, towel with the toes. What I'm trying to do here is show his wife the uh, waking up of muscle tissue. Once you get the barefoot training completed, you're going to move up through the ankle and the calf. So that's the next step in the process. And here we're moving on to uh, hand grip. What I have in my hand there is a racquetball. And there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, you want to be able to squeeze the ball and hold it for three to five seconds and crush the ball and then release. And I have a client do that uh, no more than five times at a time. Um, right here you can see the difference on if you get a full grip or barely grip. Um, you want your, your palm involved in this um, and then your fingers as an extension. Uh, another way to do this is to grab the ball for a thousand one and then release. A thousand one and release. And you can do a little more volume on that, um, up to 10, 15 repetitions, depending on your client. And this is going to help them grab uh, the assisted handle to, you know, if they're getting into the shower from the chair, um, to be able to hold themselves up. Then he does it on his own, the movement, and then you have the resistance movement. That's all after the waking up. For that is the towel grab. And then the hands you're doing as well with the ball. We can add in the upper body next time that's similar to this. That's our foundation. Alright? Do you have any questions on that?